read your thoughts so shut the fuck up. i mean please don't talk Hey guys, it's your girl Dom. I wanted to go ahead and get on here today. I wanted to dive into this Josh Giddy, Joshua Giddy. It's his full name, um, but he goes by Josh Giddy. Him, him being accused of sexual assault. Now, Josh Giddy was born October 10th, 2002. He's Australian, um, but he plays for the Oklahoma City Thunders in the NBA. He was selected by the Thunder. Um, as a sixth overall pick in the 2021 draft. Now, he's been accused of having an improper relationship with an underage girl. And in November 2023, an anonymous social media user accused him of having this, uh, this relationship with this underage girl. Now, the user claimed that photos and videos depicting Giddy with the girl when she was a junior in high school. The posts were later deleted and the social media account was deactivated. On November 24th, the NBA opened an investigation on the matter. And both Giddy and the Thunderhead coach have declined to comment. What they say is that, again, this girl is a 15-year-old sophomore junior in high school. Someone created a fake page to out him. I wonder who that was. I wouldn't be surprised if it was the young lady or one of her friends um, himself. Now, this was the interesting part. Come to find out, because it has social media in such an uproar, we're thinking that this is new. This, this just dropped. This just happened, right? No, wrong. Andrew Bogut, which is an NBA champion, stated that he talked to some people from the inside who have informed him allegedly that this is not new news, y'all. This is old tea. This happened over a year ago. <laughs> now, he claims that the girl lied about her age. This is what this is what Josh Giddy's story is, is that the girl lied about her age. Deemed Josh free to play. They don't see any concerns. The NBA have allowed that, which is kind of telling because when these kind of things happen, the NBA kind of tries to really hey, take a couple of games off till we figure this thing out. But on the flip side, I don't think they can do anything, even if there was, you know, some smoke to this fire until there's formal charges. Prior, I think, as per the per the CBA, I don't think, you know, pending an internet Twitter investigation, they can step down a player from playing. He'd have to agree to it, so they can't just say you step down. So. He has not been formally charged. I don't believe he's even been interviewed by police uh, to this point. I think it occurred in California where the age of consent is 18, which which does throw a spanner in the works as to did Josh know she was overage? I'm I'm told that's what he was told. Uh, did he know she was underage? Sorry, but I was told he was thinking that she was over overage. I believe he knew how old she was. She knew he knew how old she was. Allegedly, they don't talk anymore. Now, all of a sudden, after a year, it resurfaces on social media, all of the incriminating evidence that had already been known by the NBA, but it pops up again a year later. Suspicious. Currently, this young lady is 15, and she posted also pictures of her and Josh. Now he's under investigation. Hey, guys! Now the NBA is investigating him. This is the interesting part. The NBA knew about this. This is old T. <laughs> old T. Check this out. This happened over a year ago. Over a year ago. The NBA was made aware of this over a year ago and decided that there were no issues here. We're still going to let them suit up and let them play. So time goes on, time goes on, time goes on. But then when it hits social media, oh, now we have to investigate because now the viewing public can chime in and it'll make us look bad. So to cover up our own self, to make it seem like we're a do the right thing company, we're gonna investigate now after a year. What's up, my man? Right at the thing. front of the club. Me and my girl, bad head back to mine. The NBA continued to let him play even though they knew about it. This is a serious accusation 
with some very incriminating evidence on the internet. Now, they sat, the NBA sat Kyrie Irving down for a fake propaganda move that he was anti-Semitic. They've benched Draymond Green for the fight on the court that he just had. If this was a black man, they would hold his feet to the fire for less. This is a serious accusation that you knew about from a year ago, alleging that Josh Giddy is a child predator. Whether it was statutory, because they say if it's by consent, it doesn't matter. She's a sophomore in high school. He's on TikTok talking about, don't tell me your age. Don't tell me you're too young. Just shut the F up. Read your thoughts, so shut the fuck up. I mean, please don't talk. But you bench black players for way less for an excessive amount of time. This is a clear example of racial bias. I didn't hear not one of these sports talk show host, Stephen A. Smith or Skip Bayless, speak on this and bring attention to it. But they got on their platforms and talked about Ja Morant. And I watch the sports talk shows because I'm really into football. I've never heard of this Josh Giddy. If I would have heard them talk about this story, it would have perked up my ears. He did what? Who is he? Let me look him up. But I learned about this on social media. They get the same things across their desk as everybody else. They're protecting him. They choose who they want to out and who they don't. Now, John Morant, the NBA suspends him for 25 games for posting a weapon on his social media. Now, Morant claims that it wasn't real, but so what if it was? If it was registered, if it belonged to him, who knows? Right? You got other players out there showing their AKs for hunting, quote unquote, and they don't get in trouble. It's not a problem. Now they suspend him for 25 games. 25 games. So in, in, in assessing um, what discipline is appropriate, if that's the case, um, we look at both the history of prior acts, but then we look at the individual player's history as well. And so th that, and, and the seriousness, of course, of the conduct. So those are all things that get factored. Um, it's, it's not an exact science. It comes down to judgment at the end of the day. So, in so you just heard the commissioner of the NBA, Adam Silver, when he addressed suspending Jay Morant for 25 games for showing a weapon in good fun in the car with his friends just got it up bouncing to some NBA young boy he's suspended for 25 games and he said that they look at the seriousness of the situation so I guess being in the car with your friends Showing a weapon that you ain't using, that we don't know if it's real or not. It probably was. I don't know. He's a young kid. He thinking he doing something cool. That's more serious than being a child predator. Or is it that being black is more serious than being white, no matter what the crime is? 25 games. That's excessive. He wasn't pistol whipping anyone. He didn't shoot anyone. No one made any complaints that he used it unlawfully. He hasn't been arrested, hasn't been charged with possession. But Josh Giddy is an alleged child predator openly. Openly putting these things on his social media platform like nobody would be looking. Hello. You're a starting player for the Oklahoma Thunder. And he gets to suit up. The complexion for the protection. Kyrie Irving suspended for five games because he refused to publicly apologize to the Jewish community for sharing a video that was on Amazon that the Jewish community claimed was anti-Semitic. Five games. 
for posting something on his own social media that he did not interpret to be anti-Semitic. So he refused to publicly apologize because you got me apologizing for something that I didn't do. I'll take my responsibility. I cannot be anti-Semitic if I know where I come from. I didn't mean to cause any harm. I'm not the one that made the documentary. Five games they suspended him and they also gave him a list of things that he had to do in order to get his job back. So black man, if you want your job back, you're going to do X, Y, and Z. And that X, Y, and Z included publicly apologizing, denouncing anti-Semitism, uh, uh, denouncing the, uh, the, the link that he shared on the documentary, also donating $500,000 to an anti-hate cause, and also going through sensitivity training just for sharing a video on his social media. But Josh Giddy sleeping with little girls, allegedly, and he gets to suit up. Giddy is allegedly sleeping with little girls and he don't even have to address it. He can still suit up. There's mountain of evidence about this on social media. No one's talking about it and he doesn't even have to address it. But Kyrie Irving got five or six things, in, including money that he has to give to an anti-hate group. And he has to publicly address it. But John, uh, Josh Giddy don't have to publicly address anything. Listen to him at the press conference when he was asked about the allegations against him. Over the past couple of days, there some pretty serious allegations. I know nothing is concrete there, but is there anything you can say in this situation? Yeah, I mean, I understand the question, obviously, but um, no, there's no further comment right now. Something that I watched on my own time and shared on my own platform and I have to do all this and also miss five games if I want to get my job back. The list goes on for the mistreatment and unfairness across all fields, all sports, all jobs. We know this to be true, but this is a blatant example because he is alleged to have been with a minor, underage minor, and he continues to get to suit up. This is crazy to me. I want to know what you guys think. Why have the sports analyst shows not spoken about this before it had social media in a frenzy? Do you think that because she allegedly lied about her age that Josh Giddy just didn't know about it. He thought she was grown. Or do you think that's a sack of potatoes? Make sure you guys subscribe, comment on the video,